Hello everybody, Daniel Rothamel here again with another project for Level Up in Tech. Uh, this time we're back in AWS and we're going to be using a little bit of Lambda and cloud formation. And here's the scenario. This is actually a very common real world scenario. Let's say you're a business or an organization that uses EC2 instances to run some application or whatever. Now, you don't need those instances to run 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, for whatever reason. You don't need them to run all the time. So you'd like to be able to turn those instances on and off. And you'd like to do that automatically so that somebody doesn't forget to either turn them off or turn them on. Well, AWS can help you with that. And you can use a Lambda function to do it. You can have a Lambda function that will automatically turn off and turn on your EC2 instances at any time you choose. And you can even have a, a running schedule. And so that's what we're doing um, this week. So the cool thing is AWS, because they like to help you save money, um, they actually have a template for doing this. So how do I start and stop a Amazon EC2 instances? Oh, let me move my face. At regular intervals using Lambda. So it walks you through exactly how to do this. Now what it walks you through is how to do this through the console initially. But as we talked about in the last screencast I did, we want to stay out of the console as much as we can. Because in the real world, uh, DevOps teams don't want you in the console. They want you to do everything as automated as possible. So we want to use infrastructure as code, which means we want to use cloud formation to try and do this same thing. And luckily for us, AWS provides down here how we can do this exact same thing, create the schedule of starting and stopping instances using cloud formation. So here is the template to do that. So I copied this template and I put it in my IDE here, I put it in PyCharm. And so here is the entire template. Now we'll talk about exactly uh, what's in this template in just a second. But if we're starting and stopping EC2 instances, obviously one of the things that we need are actual EC2 instances. So if you look in my account here, I've got two EC2 instances that I launched. Uh, these are both T2 micro instances running the uh, uh, Linux, uh, Amazon Linux. Um, and so they're currently stopped. So what our function is going to do through cloud formation, what our function is going to do is it's going to start these instances and then stop them. Now I'm only going to give it like two minutes because I'm only going to do this one time, but you can schedule it to do it as often as you want or on any schedule you want. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So let's go back to the actual template. Um, okay. So if we go back to the template, you can see the template format version, the description of the template, and here in the parameters is where we're going to put in those instance IDs from that page because we need both of the instances because the Lambda function needs to know which instances it needs to turn on and off. So uh, you can see it's a list of instance IDs separated by comma, uh, the region. Uh, this is the region that I'm in. You'd have to uh, customize that for whatever region you're in. And then this is where we create the actual schedule in the parameters. So the schedule is done as a cron expression. Now, prior to this, I knew what cron expressions were, but I had never actually used a cron expression. Uh, this was pretty frustrating in the beginning to get this right. Um, you'll see AWS gives us a link here that we can use to find out uh, to learn about cron expressions and how they work. And that takes you here uh, to schedule expressions for rules. So you have cron expressions. So it, it tells you what the different fields are, the values you can put in those fields and the wild cards for those fields. And then it sort of explains, you know, what you can do with the different fields. It gives you some examples. Um, but the basic idea is you're telling it uh, the minute to do something, the hour to do something in 24 hour time, the day of the month, the month, the day of the week, the year. So you can create a pretty uh, fine tuned schedule using a cron expression. One thing to keep in mind with a cron expression is that it uses UTC time. You can see right here, it uses UTC time. So unless you're living in, UT, in the UTC time zone, that means you're going to have to convert your local time into UC, UTC time. So a handy way to do that is just to go to the uh, time converter. And then you can see it's currently 3.39 UTC time. Now, uh, what we also have to do is it has to be 24-hour time. So that means it's 15.39 UTC time. So in order to customize our schedule, we'll go back. We already have the hour correct, 15. 
Um, so the first thing we need to do is actually start these instances. So I'm going to put in 50 to give ourselves plenty of time. And I'll just pause the video so you don't have to wait around. So we're going to do uh, at 3.50 UTC time today. The, today. This is today's date. We're not worried about the day of the week. Uh, that's when it's going to start the instances. I'm going to turn them off at... 52 we'll let them run for two minutes that'll give them enough time to start up and then we'll shut them back down um so 52 uh, uh 352 utc time today all right so there now we've got those uh we've got the schedule created um and then these are the resources that are going to be created by the cloud formation template in our stack so uh this is the stop ec2 instances lambda function you can see right here this is an aws lambda function the runtime is python so here is the python code this is the code code zip file there's all the code that it needs for the lambda function and then it's a discrete, this is a function that stops instances. Now here's the permission for the uh, events in uh, CloudWatch to see it. Whoop. So we've got those. We have the start instances, Lambda function, same thing. We have the permission to, for events to start the Lambda function. Uh, then we have the AIM role that needs to be created and the events rule um, for the events okay so now that everything's correct we need to go in here and we need to actually this is this is my local terminal i'm in the directory where i have this template saved um so you need to make sure you're in that directory otherwise you got to use the absolute path which we'll see in a second so here is the um here is the command that we need so you can see here it's aws cloud formation deploy the template file, this is the actual file name. And then we have to name our stack. So we have stack name, lambda start stop. And then capabilities, we have to give it a uh, capability to, to do these things. So we put in capability IAM. Without this, if you don't have this on here, you'll get an error um, from CloudFormation. So we hit enter. twice because huh, nothing happened the first time there we go all right and it says uh waiting for the chain set to be created and then in a second here we're going to get another message that says it's creating the stack yep waiting for stack create update to complete so now what we can do is we can actually watch this happening uh if we go back into cloud formation you see there's uh, no stacks here oh and there we go there it is huh there's lambda start stop creation is in progress if we want to check out what it's actually creating um, we can look at the events the things that are happening um, and the different resources that it's creating so it's created the uh, the role um, it's doing the functions next uh, one function just uh, the stop function was created it's working on the start function so you know you can see what's going on so we'll wait a little bit here and we can see uh we'll wait until this actually completes should complete pretty soon and then when it does we'll i'll show you we can go into the instance or we can go into the cloud lambda to see the function and cloud watch events to see our events in there our rule the rules for our events to make sure everything's scheduled correctly uh let's see are we almost done Almost, let's see what we got going on. Oh, we're waiting for uh, the Lambda function and the event rule. Almost, we're getting, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. All right, let me pause it real quick and then I'll come back when it's done. All right, we're back. And you can see now that the creation has completed for our stack. So if we go to, so it's currently 1145. So if we go to our instances, you'll see our instances are still stopped. But if we go to our Lambda function, we can see that now we have two Lambda functions, a function that 
stops instances and a function that starts instances. So we can see that both of our functions are in there. Uh, and if we look at the functions, we can see how they're laid out. So you can see it, it, it triggers a, a CloudWatch event. And then if we go over to CloudWatch, we can look at our events. We can look at our events, our event rules. So here we go. We've got a start and a stop rule. So there's the start schedule rule. So we can see that at 1550, it's going to start the instances. So we've got about four minutes. So if this works right, I am going to pause this and I'll come back at 1150 and the instances should have started. All right, so I'll be back. I'll pause it. Okay, time has passed. Our instances should now be running. Let's check. And there we go. They are running. All right, so now we'll wait another minute, a uh, minute or two, and let's see if they stop. So we don't have to wait too long here because um, actually I wasn't paying attention and didn't start the video again fast enough. So we only got about a minute to go uh, to see if they stop. But they, they started successfully, so they should stop successfully. Um, but as I said, this is a cool way to uh, automate the starting and stopping of EC2 instances in the event that you do have a schedule and you want to save money on your compute cost because you don't want your EC2 instances running when you don't need them to be running. It doesn't make any sense to pay even pennies for uh, instances that you don't need to have running. And if you're using really big instances, I mean, T2 micros are free, um, but if you're using really big instances, you can run up a pretty big bill having your instances running when you don't need them to be running. Um, so we got uh, probably 30 seconds or so, something like that. Um, but again, you can see, I think it will tell us in here in CloudWatch. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, start schedule rule. So we saw, so the stop schedule rule. There it is. Um, so 52. Um, so we're almost there. Uh, all right, let's see. Now it should have stopped. So if we come back to our instances and we refresh, they're stopped. So we successfully started and stopped instances the automated way. Uh, we use the cloud formation template because we want to use infrastructure as code as much as possible and stay out of the console. So we used the template that AWS gave us to create a Lambda function that started and stopped two EC2 instances at the time we wanted. So that's pretty cool. So if you learn uh, cron expressions, you can create a really detailed schedule um, to do all that for you if you're doing it at regular intervals. So that's uh, the Level Up in Tech project for today. Thanks for being with me. And uh, again, check out my GitHub. This will be on there. Uh, YouTube, depending on where you're seeing this, this will be on there and my medium. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.